The tour of Margaret River kicks off this weekend and it's attracted a huge entry. Nearly 800 riders in 130 teams are heading down south to take part in the three-day cycling race, which includes a new feature stage in Manjimup. It's a major test of endurance, more than 230 kilometres over three days, which not even COVID could stop this year. So it is the biggest road race in the country this year. We're really, really excited about that. Teams of cyclists from all over the state will be heading south for the three-day race starting in Nanup. Other than Albany Esperance, there's a couple of teams coming from uh, there. They always support us well. Eastern Goldfields have always been very supportive and have a very strong cycling club, so they're bringing some teams. And all the way up north as well. This year's event has a new feature stage called Super Saturday. So that's 100 k's out of Manjimup. And um, yeah, quite hilly circuit, um, going to be big field. Um, so that's the, that's the day where you make or break. The tour also delivers a big financial boost to the local economy. We know that the tour of Margaret River is around about $1.1, $1.2 million each year. And we, it's called the Tour of Margaret River, but it actually extends across the southwest region because we're trying to bring that economic benefit to the smaller towns. With so many people coming, I've heard Manjimup's booked out and Nanup's booked out. There's people staying in Margaret River travelling across, there's people staying in Pemberton. With our borders still firmly shut, all competitors for this year's event will come from WA. But the standard is still set to be very high as some of Australia's top champion road cyclists take part. They won't have the really, really big names that they're up against. They'll have an incredibly, not level playing field, but there'll be some amazing competition we'll see in that top tier. The lack of international competitors is an interesting, interesting one. Um, the West Australian racing has really picked up with um, all the best guys having to stay in the state as well. So it's going to make quite a fierce competition. Grady Wolf, GWN 7 News.